friend like you. Panda and Monkey are going on a special journey up into the mountains. Monkey is so excited about the beautiful surprise ahead. He just can't wait for Panda. Let's get going, Panda Plod, he cries impatiently and rushes off. But Monkey soon finds he needs his friend much more than he thought. I do like these front pages. Lovely, lovely. Panda stretched happily in the morning sun. It was the first day of spring, time for his special journey up into the mountains. Sunlight sparkled in the trees as Panda walked through the peaceful forest. Suddenly, a nut hit him on the nose. It was Monkey. Where are you going, Panda? He giggled. Anywhere fun? Somewhere with a beautiful secret, said Panda. Do you want to come too? Yes, please, squealed Monkey. I love secrets. As they set off, Monkey danced around Panda, hurrying him along. Come on, he squeaked. I want to see the secret. Slow down, little friend, said Panda. It's a long way. We have to cross Silver River first, then follow the rocky stream to the mountain meadows. That sounds easy, said Monkey. Let's get going, Panda Plod. And he raced ahead. Panda padded on in the leafy shade. As he stopped to chew some bamboo, he heard a chirrup under the leaves. There he found a lovely bird, bright as a jewel. Monkey, come and see this, he called. But Monkey was out of sight. Poor Monkey, he thought Panda. In such a rush, he never sees anything. I wonder where he's got to. Before long, Panda found him chasing his tail around a tree. You've been ages, said Monkey, and I couldn't find a silly river. If you hush a minute, you'll hear it, said Panda. We're almost there. But I'm too excited to hush, laughed Monkey, chattering away as they strolled together. Soon they reached the banks of Silver River. I'm going to swing across, boasted Monkey. Watch me fly, Panda. Be careful, Panda called out as Monkey leapt up into the branches. Panda swam slowly down into the cool water, smiling as a shoal of flickering fish tickled by his toes. Monkey came swinging through the treetops, treetops even. I'll beat you across, old soggy ploddy bear, he shouted. One, two, three, wee! look at me. Monkey let go of his branch and soared up, up through the glorious sky. Then splash into the river. Help, he shrieked. Here I am, shouted Panda. Hold on tight. He pulled the squidgy, shivering monkey from the water and swam to the shore. Poor little monkey mess. However did I find a friend like you, Panda laughed. Come on, have a ride on my back. Monkey snuggled into Panda's cosy fur. Thank you, Panda. Up, 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 Panda climbed through the misty foothills. Monkey, did you ever see anything so pretty? He gasped, but there was no answer. Monkey was fast asleep. Sleep well, little friend, Panda whispered and padded softly on. At last, they reached the lush green meadows. Are we there? Squeaked Monkey, bouncing awake. Can I see the secret now? It's up in the highest meadow, said Panda. The mountain butterflies are about to fly. It's an amazing sight. Quick, I want to see them, Monkey squealed. Wait, called Panda. I can't keep up. But they'll fly away, Monkey cried, skipping off. Panda sighed sadly and climbed slowly after him. When Panda reached the top, Monkey was looking very cross. 
There aren't any butterflies, he snapped. We've missed them all because you're such a slow coach. That's not very fair, cried Panda. I can't rush like you. It's just the way I am. Monkey hung his head. I'm sorry, Panda, he said. I know I'm lucky to have a friend like you. Panda smiled. Don't worry, little monkey, he said gently. All we have to do now is wait. Ever so quiet and ever so still. Monkey snuggled next to Panda and slowly, slowly, slowly. A thousand butterflies stretched their wings and flew into the air. They're amazing, Monkey whispered. Thank you, Panda. Panda hugged him and smiled. I'm happy I can share them with a friend like you. And there we had it. I hope you enjoyed it, children. Until next time. Bye.